Hi, this video is going to look at force, which is our final dot point for the critical question, how do biomechanical principles influence movement, and our final dot point for the module, the body in motion. So our syllabus for force asks you to learn about how the body applies force, how the body absorbs force, and then applying force to an object. The Learn 2 asks you to apply principles of force to enhance performance through participation in practical workshops. When we're looking at applying forces, the main thing we're going to look at is the forces the body applies to the ground in order to cause movement. Now Newton's third law says for every action or every force, there is an equal and opposite reaction or force. And so we need to apply forces to the ground and then move as a result of the opposite, the equal and opposite reaction force that the ground causes. Uh, so we move by manipulating gravity and applying force with our muscles. Uh, so if we think of the vertical jump, for example, uh, we're going to start by doing a downward loading uh, using gravity, so allowing gravity to allow our body to drop. And uh, then we're going to contract our muscles and push down into the ground. This causes an equal and opposite force from the ground, uh, which pushes us up as we jump, uh, and also as our arms propel us forward upwards as well. Uh, we can also think of the sprint start, where the athlete pushes downward and backwards to propel the body forwards and fight against the gravitational force at the same time. We use our arms and leg thrusts also uh, to help provide a force that is going to propel us in the forwards direction. The next dash point is absorbing force. Our body absorbs force by transferring the force to our muscles where contractions in the opposite direction, even though they are eccentric, absorb the force. Uh, when the force is large, our body adapts to absorb the force uh, safely by doing things like increasing the time of increasing the time of absorption, or increasing the movement length used to absorb the force, or maybe even increasing the area in which the force is absorbed. Uh, so, for example, we can think about catching a ball. Uh, the force from the ball is absorbed by the body through eccentric contractions in the shoulders, trunk, and arms. And these contractions absorb the force over a longer period of time, making it easier to control and increase the chances of the athlete holding onto the ball when they're making that catch. So for example, in cricket, uh, you might try and catch the ball and you're going to absorb that force in. If it's coming extremely fast, you might also bend your legs in order to increase the area that's absorbing, increase the movement uh, that's going to be there and the timing, the increase the time for the absorption to make it easier and safer, less pain with your hands. Uh, equipment can also help, so in cricket the wiki keeper wears gloves, but there's also things like pads, uh, mats in gymnastics and in high jump and stuff like that, and sand in long jump uh, that are also going to help in absorbing forces for us. Finally, we're looking at applying force to an object. Uh, forces are generated by muscle and use the lever system to increase the amount of force that can be applied to an object. Uh, think of something like golf or um, cricket or baseball, the extra length that's added uh, to your arms in those things allows for a greater force when you hit the ball. Uh, and so the same thing, our body uses a similar thing, our arms and our legs are quite large and we tend to use our arms and our legs to apply the force to the objects, not our torso. Now large muscles produce the most force and these are in our lower body. We're talking about our glutes, our quads, our hamstrings. Uh, even upper body forces have lower body muscles contributing to the movement, uh, such as in an overarm throw or when you're tackling a rugby league player, the player will generally uh, bend their legs in order to provide that extra bit of force into their throw or into their hit or into their tackle, whatever they happen to be doing. Uh, a run up can also help generate a larger force, for example, kicking a ball.